Hi, this is Lois. I'm going to be going over image sets with you today. I have heard about s several times people mention that they can't find a rounded circle in design space. Not a rounded circle, duh. A <laughs> rounded square in design space. And I'm going to show you where that's at. And um, maybe possibly a, a simple shirt design too that you can find right in design space there's so many things in design space and i see so many people going to etsy right away which i know a lot of you have etsy stores and that's good but um there's a lot here too <laughs> a lot that's available to you okay don't forget to like and subscribe if i don't say it at the beginning i totally forget so forgive me for that um just don't forget. Okay, let's go to images. And click on images. Now I'm going to click on image sets. I would encourage you to click along with me after you watch this through once. If you want to learn this, uh, get on your computer in a different browser and click along. That's, that's how I learned, by clicking along with other YouTubers that were doing this. Okay, we're going to search in image sets. There's 3,400 image sets in Design Space, and all of these sets have lots and lots and lots of images. So that's good to know. And there are some free image sets. Okay. And something I want to show you here, you'll see prices over here for image sets. That is if you buy the whole set. Okay. So let's say here we've got snowmobilers, okay? It says 25 images in this set, or yeah, 25 images, okay? Uh, if, you're, if you don't have access, you can purchase, you can click on one image, put it in, and then when you're ready to use the image, it will just charge you 99 cents for the image or for however many you want. But um, I don't want you to be scared by that price at the beginning. That is, let's go back. That's for the entire image set. So like for $24.99, that's for all 48 images. If you just wanted the one little elephant, um, it's most likely 99 cents. Okay, now we were talking about rounded squares and where to find those. Okay, so I am going to go to Cricut Craft Room. I think it's called Cricut Craft Rooms Basics. It was like their very first image set when Cricut came out years and years and years ago before computers. Okay, right here is Cricut Craft Room Basics. It has 27 images. All of the images are free. All of the images have layers. Okay. And they're all available in Access, of course, too. Let's get the rectangle. I'm just going to click on some and bring them in, kind of so you can see what's here. I like to, for myself, I just like to click on everything and see what I like and what I don't like. And then if I don't like it, just get rid of it. So, I think this is a pumpkin. If you put leaves on it, it would look like an apple. And there's you go. Well, let's get a onesie. I'll just click on almost all of them. <laughs> you see all of these? I just click on everything I think I might be interested in. And then if I'm not interested in them, once I get to my page or canvas, I can delete what I decide I don't want. Okay, I'll click on insert images and they will all come in. Okay, I am going to zoom out a little bit so I can see what we've got here. Okay, we were looking for right here is a rounded square 
And you'll notice over here, I told you they all have a shadow layer. Where'd my square go? Go click on that. There it is. And we'll open that up. Okay, you'll notice that this is matte and layered. So um, we can ungroup that. So this is good for like scrapbooking or for making cards and sentiments. You could write your own sentiment for a card and use a writing font. Okay, because they're, they're perfectly designed for, um, for matting and layering. That's a rounded square, that's one there. You can resize them. Now, there are some rectangles too. And some of these, you'll look at this and you'll say, oh, that doesn't look rounded. Well, remember there's a layer. You see the layer underneath? It's rounded. And it's a matte and layer imaging. We'll ungroup it. And there you have it. Okay, and all of them, all of these images, you'll see the hidden layers here. So we're going to get rid of that one and get something fun here. Here's a tree. And just to show you, they all have the shadow layer. A onesie. Or baby bodysuit, I guess is what we should say because onesie apparently is um, a name brand. So, click off of that. Now, this one's a neat one to use. I've used this one before. It does have a shadow layer. So, you've got the full speech bubbles in both colors. But, because of that, you can also, if you don't want to put a full bubble on your project or whatever, you can slice it out. And you can do that with any of these. Oops. Let's get rid of this one. And these two would be neat for um, like writing on uh, whatever you need to say. And say this one, it's got the hole in it. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, if, if you're ever wondering, you know, what uh, images look like or what you want, um, just bring a bunch in. Bring a bunch into your canvas because you can always get rid of what you don't want. Uh, labels, those are perfect for um, for labeling things in your pantry or, you know, or wherever you like to label your calendars. And here's another one. This one almost has a postage stamp look. Not quite. You'd have to in invert it. <laughs> It's not quite, I'm sure they have postage stamp in Design Space. Oops. And then the heart. Okay. Let's see what else we have. The butterfly. More rectangles. And you see it's got the shadow layer. And you can, um, here's a bigger rectangle. And these are, you know, just perfect for your, doing your cards and matting and layering on your pages, your scrapbooks and stuff. And one more. And once again, you can slice any of these out. Okay. And the rounded one is usually on the outside edge, except for that first one we saw. Okay. Now you know where to find all of those shapes. Those are, you know, like the basic shapes, they come in handy. Um, you can use them for a lot of things. Let's go back to images. And we're going to hit the back button. And we're back in image sets. I'm going to clear out the craft room basics. Now, <clears throat> there are thousands and thousands and thousands of, of uh, images in here. So it's best if if you have a theme or something you think you want to work on, um, 
you can put it in there. So let's put in, let's try this. Let's try women. Let's see what we got. Women's fashion. There's a uh, gymnast, ballet, dance, dancing women, 12 images. I have not seen this cartridge before, this image set, I should say. They're called the image sets. Wow, that's something. <laughs> I'm sure some of you could make a pretty cool shirt with that. Okay, let's see what else they have here. Here's uh, designs you could use for shirts. Women of the world, 42 images. I bet these are probably, probably pretty popular. This right here would make a pretty popular shirt, I think. I can and I will. And some of these heads, you could put in whatever saying you wanted to put in, in the text and slice it out. But I know some of you didn't know these were here. Just think what you can do with them. Um, yeah. Let's go back and, okay, let's say, let's do a sports one. Fan wear is always big if you um, sell for events, t-shirts and stuff. Football, there's 40 football images in this one set. Just 40 pictures of different footballs. Here's some more. Here's some fan wear right here. You could take any of these. Let's see. Let's take, let's look at these and see. There's one. And now we'll go back and pick out a different image. I'll pick out that one maybe. Lots of images here. Okay, I picked out two, we'll look at them. Anyway, okay. Let's see. There's one, tailgates and touchdowns. That right there would make a shirt for a football mom or a football sister or a girlfriend or whatever. So, so that would be a good one to do with vinyl or even um, to make a sign. So, let's get rid of that. Okay, this one here, these are kind of cool because you can you can do something with this. I'll show you. You can contour. Let's give it a minute to come up. And it says football there. And we'll hide the word team. And you can put whatever word you want there. doesn't want to hide that M. There it goes. Okay. Okay, now you can put in football. Okay, what's a good word to put with football? You could put somebody's name in. You could put the school name in. You could put in champ. Let's do champ. You could put your kid's name in there. Okay. You need to get it a little smaller so it fits. And if you needed to, you could hide the stars in contour to make more room. 
Okay, so you need to turn this one a little bit. I don't know that the curve might help us out a little bit on this one. Yeah, I think it will. Okay. We need to go smaller. <laughs> okay, but you get the idea that you could put, I don't know, your kid's name in there too, or the name of the school or whatever you, you like. Okay, football champ, we'll just do that. Or you can make it champion. Let's do that. This is kind of how I design. <laughs> I kind of, you know, just go with the flow. And things come to me as I go. Okay. But you're getting the idea. Okay, we need to center that up a little bit, and I would ungroup for this particular one and, you know, move these letters just a little bit. That's the wrong letter. I didn't want that one. Okay, it's not grabbing the right letter. But anyway, you get the general idea. I, I could mess with this for a very long time, and I'm not going to do that because I don't want to bore you to tears. But as you see, I am having trouble stopping, so I am going to just put my champ back in. And we'll just put football champ. And I did not and group this again. I need to group it. Okay. Actually, it needs to be attached. This needs to be attached. Make sure you attach it. Okay. And then whatever word you put in here, you're going to want to attach it to your whole, unless it's a different color. If I did this in like red, Let's say I did the word in red. And then, then I wouldn't attach it. If everything was going to be a solid color, I'd attach it. So we're going to go back to one color. And what I would do, if I knew I wanted to keep this one color and everything, I would just go ahead, instead of attaching, I would just go ahead and weld. You could attach, though. But that makes it one object, and then it will cut as one. So that's pretty cool. And that gives you, gives you a shirt. So, okay. Anyway, I hope you learned something and I hope this was helpful for you about image sets and the shapes and what all is available for you. You can spend a lot of time search, um, not searching, but browsing and looking through there and finding some incredible images. So I hope you all have fun with that. And don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good day. Bye.